Next up, we take a look at the Department of Environmental Services, or DES. It's the largest department in the county. And whether you know it or not, you come into contact with DES services many times throughout the day. DES staff are always there behind the scenes working to make things run smoothly for Arlington. Well, I think uh, DES is a very exciting place. DES is um, probably the largest department in Arlington County government, and it provides a, a myriad of central services, important services to the, uh, the people who live here, the people who work here, uh, the people who visit here. We've got three major uh, commuter and commercial corridors. We've got uh, large areas of uh, residential uh, development and uh, we're responsible to take care of all of the, uh, the built and natural environment and maintain the large complex infrastructure that's in the county. If you look carefully, you can see your tax dollars at work in a way that uh, provides a safe, sustainable, uh, productive environment. Though Arlington is a small county, the infrastructure that supports it is surprisingly big. Arlington County maintains about 961 lane miles of street. Not all of those streets have traffic markings on them, but many of them do. Crosswalks, the center lines, the lane lines, the bicycle symbols, the edge lines. Most of those markings are now made from durable heat applied plastic, which can last up to five years, much longer than the traditional painted lines. And they're just the beginning of the ways that the county guides you safely home. If you counted them all, you'd find about 100,000 traffic signs in Arlington. That's 100,000. And more installed every day. So I have crews that manufacture signs, crews that put the posts in and, and uh, install the signs. We also try to maintain them. We try to keep graffiti off of them, replace them on a cyclical basis uh, every seven years or so. They're very durable. They're made out of uh, aluminum with vinyl sheeting over them. We use almost all our sheeting is reflectorized so that they can be seen at night to make them more visible. Uh, you know, some people forget that street name signs don't all only help you know the name of the street. They help emergency services find where you are. They help delivery services find where you are. And research in, in recent years has found that people that know where they are, are having an easier time finding where they are, are one more thing that result in collisions going down. That safety aspect is very important to all our decision making. When, when, when drivers are out there, they're using these systems, the signs, the signals, and markings every day. You, you, you can't drive. You actually can't walk or ride your bicycle without using these various systems. So we, th we do this work constant, ongoing, and uh, hopefully we do it seamlessly so people don't notice the work going on. Of course, the work doesn't stop at street level. Beneath us, Arlington maintains enough sanitary sewer lines to stretch to Boston, Massachusetts. And the water lines? Water lines, we have 526 miles. And uh, that's from Arlington to Detroit. Within this uh, 26 square miles of uh, land, we got so many pipelines, that means a lot of work to do. Our preventative process, we have a four-year goal to reach. So every four years, we will clean the whole county's sanitary sewer at least once. And for the trouble spots, we will have shorter intervals. One of the county's new tools to help with this process is a robotic TV inspection truck with a miniature camera that travels through the sewer lines looking for cracks and blockages caused by sediment, grease, and the ever-present tree roots, a major source of blockages that must frequently be cut out of the line. The water lines uh, mostly we're maintaining the water distribution system. 
Keeping the water distribution system going means repairing leaks, replacing pipes, maintaining hydrants, and of course, dealing with breaks. That, that's a lot of our overwhelming tasks, especially in the winter. Uh, winter is where the water breaks happen most. And uh, we have to deal with those on a daily basis, day and night, we respond to those. For the water and sewer, uh, the maintenance work will never end. But while the work is always there, it's sometimes easy to miss. I would describe as hidden in plain sight. Uh, it's the part of DES that most people take for granted. But when you uh, turn the shower on in the morning, you expect the water will be there. You drive down the street, uh, there are traffic signals and street lights and pavement markings. And all of those things are in plain sight but the men and women who work on those and put them in place and maintain those are really out of sight and not, not really appreciated. When you come down the street and you see lights and trucks and things, uh, take a look at those people who are doing very dirty, dangerous, very hard work uh, down in the trenches. Uh, the caliber, the professionalism of the staff here in DES, in Arlington County, exceeds any place I've ever been. Now this segment really just scratched the surface of all the services and programs going on in DES. It's a hub for a lot of the county's most basic and its most sophisticated work. And appropriately, there are a lot of different ways to find out more about the DES programs. You can visit arlingtonva.us slash DES on the county's website or you can like their Facebook page. Or you can also follow the Twitter feed at Arlington DES for up-to-the-minute information and answers to service requests.